It's 2015! Hey, what's going on guys? It's your girl Lena Expression. Today is January the 1st, 2015. And I am so excited for this year so I, I could have probably more of time smiling than banging my head against the wall and picturing everybody's face in Call of Duty. Now, today is the day where everybody swears on end that they're going to start their, rev you know, their resolutions. You know, the number one one that we probably hear about is, oh, well, I'm just going to, you know, live a healthier lifestyle and drop a few pounds because I'm tired of being fat. Well, that's when you see about a crowd of people rush to the gym and pay for this membership and rush to stores like Sports Authority, Dick's, Models, uh, Foot Locker, or to get equipment and stuff like that. Surrounding a house, ordering stuff off of the TV infomercials, and getting themselves prepared. And by the end of the month, their resolutions are looking like a big dream. So, like I said, my resolution was to continue to exercise, but try to put myself on a schedule so that I don't be so far off track. So, today, I haven't ate breakfast yet, and they said eating breakfast is very important, and what you eat for breakfast is very important as well. Um, so... I haven't ate breakfast yet. I probably will have some oatmeal and some milk. Um, I have to fill up my water bottle. As you can see, they tell you you should drink two liters a day because water, your body is made up mostly of water. You know, you lose it from breathing and sweating and things like that. So... I'm going to fill that up and have that get nice and cold while I eat my breakfast. As you can hear, my voice is back for the New Year's. How look at that. And as I could have been like everybody else and could have been happily drunk, I chose not to because I wanted to make sure my body was 100% better. And there is always Saturday night when I know that I'm off on Sunday. Now, I want to know what your guys' resolutions is. Nobody seems to want to tell me what their resolutions is, but if you don't, it's okay because I will be looking online and looking on statuses to see who keeps their resolution. Now, I started my weight loss journey about, I would say, probably over three years ago. And so far, I think I've been doing quite all right. I've seen a major improvement in my breathing and my overall health and how I get a little stronger. And after a while, my friends and family notice too. So I'm happy to say that I'm glad that I'm continuing on this journey, even though I am a mom and go through tons of stress. And I deal with it accordingly. And you don't see me on the news on the front page from murdering everybody. So... It is going after 8 o'clock. See, time flies when you're just having so much fun because it's New Year's. I'm excited. And I look forward to seeing everybody this year with new videos. I will try to do the same. I, like I said, I am semi-new to the YouTube family. And I look forward to seeing what you guys would like for me to post up and everything. So feel free to follow me on Facebook, t Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are in my cover cover photo and my YouTube page. So feel free to click on the links so you can find me. And you can hit me up with questions or what have you. And let's make this year off to a great, great start. So all that 2014 nonsense, you know, about the he say, she say, you know, and all this other bullshit. That was in 2014. Now everybody's like, ah, eh, well, you know, what's all this, you know, new new year. I was like, look, look, look. When it's New Year's, 
you're supposed to come better. You can't reflect about what happened in the past because if you reflect what happens in the past, it's not going to do everything in the present. Okay, things like that happen in the past. So you see what happens in the past, so you do your best to try to improve so that the past doesn't repeat itself. Now, I have, over the years, made sure that my tolerance level for stupidity has come very slimmer. And as I've been doing that over the years, a lot of people have not talked to me. Because as you can see, the, mo the a lot of people that used to talk to you and you have gone through a lot of stress were the most of the people that are probably running game on you. And as I looked over the years and I have seen like, wow, everybody around me is happy and I'm fucking miserable. So once I start putting my foot down and running and showing them the type of love that they need to be shown, which is tough love, they didn't like it and they disappeared. So, don't feel bad if this is the new year for you and you happen to be rocking by yourself when you used to be rocking with a crowd of people that, you know, probably didn't give a shit about you, but you were so focused on being alone. So, if you're alone on this New Year's Day, don't need to be sad, boo-boo. There are other people out there that are alone, but you know what? You take this time and you be happy that you are alone and that you are not with somebody just to be with somebody. That you know that's going to give you a headache. That doesn't mean that you have to be in a relationship. You can just be satisfied with yourself. Be satisfied with your own company first. If you're not satisfied with your own company first, then what you're going to do throughout the whole New Year's is just going to be wishy-washy because you're going to be lying to yourself because you want to sit there and be with somebody and you're not comfortable in your own skin. So first thing, your New Year's resolution, besides all that, you know, get money and all other shit, make sure you're comfortable with yourself. Because when you're comfortable with yourself, all others will follow, okay? Now, I'm excited. And as I said, when it's the new year, that I have got my... Insult of the day, and it is time to open this bad boy. So, today, the insult of the day says, Your bus leaves in 10 minutes, be under it. And this is by comedian John Cooper Clark. I never heard of him, but I think that shit's pretty funny because nine times out of ten, I probably tell somebody to go under a fucking bus and themselves if they piss me off. But as you can see, it's the insult of the day, and I'm an ignorant person. But you know what? I have a lot of heart, but I will not be have my heart stomped on by a bunch of stupid people. So I will be staying by myself if I can't see myself surrounded by a bunch of loving people. But you know what? It's okay. I have tons of games. I have my daughters. I have my boyfriend. And I have Hulu and Netflix. So anyway, I know a lot of people right now are probably hungover and probably praying to the porcelain god that they shouldn't been drinking all this much. And probably kicking themselves because they ate themselves out of house and home yesterday. Because I know what people were throwing down. You know, doing the tradition. Which, when I was growing up, the tradition that my grandmother would do for New Year's was collard greens, fried chicken, and black eyed peas. If I remember correctly, the collard greens was was um money to have more wealth um the fried chicken i think was i forgot what that was but i know that the um black eyed peas was for health but anyway i just wanted to make sh sure that i give you guys a happy new year's from me because it is a new year and it's time for a new start and I know people are sick of people hearing oh new year but you know what this is this is a new year this is where you start to to begin to begin your journey to become better so if you had a shitty year last year this is time to make it a better year so 
just keep that in mind when you when you go throughout your day. Okay? So, have a very safe and productive new year. Keep all them negative people out there because that's what they like to do. They like to come in and start shit because they have nothing else better to do. And like I said, be careful because there are a, a lot of nuts out there, you know, that run rampant on this day. And, you know, I know some people have to work and some people are sick and things like that. But I still wish you guys a happy new year. And if you're working and you're probably pissed off, but just think about it. You are at work getting income, boo-boo. And there are some people that have been at work for months that are begging so they don't give a damn if they want to work on New Year's Day. So anyway, mwah, this is Lily. Mwah, and I'm out. Nah, 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 come on.